really excited to be back for this video, which is going to be a study Chinese with me video. Before we start, if you like this video, don't hesitate to share it and to subscribe to my channel. It would be lovely and you can also add a comment if you have anything to say, to add or an opinion to give. So like every day as I'm following a three months uh, courses, I have a grammar point to get through and I have also a vocabulary list. For the moment, I cannot tell you if it's going to be a five or a 25 words list. I don't know. <laughs> it's changing every day. So we are going to see it uh, together. So I will show you how I get through my grammar point, how I make my exercises that I will send to my coach, uh, how I'm learning this vocabulary. But I will also show you my notebooks. So I've started to learn Chinese a little bit before uh, beginning this formation. So I will show you what I've written uh, before, how I was learning. I didn't got a real textbook. I only got one vocabulary book. So I was only working with uh, apps that I'm going to show you uh, through this video. So I will show you how I was working before, how I'm working now. So here we go for the video. So to start with, the very first thing I do every day is that I, I connect myself to the platform where we have everything given per day. Uh, so I'm on day 29, if I'm not mistaken. So I will print today courses, today vocabulary list, and when everything would be printed, we can begin to work. So everything is fine. I have my today courses. Uh, the vocabulary list is pretty tiny today. So I will try to do my best to really uh, know exactly those names and trying to remember them. But of course, I will have to review a lot of words because <laughs> it's not in sync. Uh, there's words one time that I will um, remember them. So I know I will have also in those few days to 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 go back to a lot of uh, old vocabulary list to remember them uh, better. So today's grammar point is about a sentence construction. So it's uh, three pages. So it's a pretty good grammar point, I think. So I'm going uh, to get through to highlight everything, uh, to rewritten if I have to, but I'm not sure, and to make the exercise the exercises at uh, the end. So the first thing I do is that I'm going through my grammar lesson of the day. So I'm highlighting important things uh, in different colors. And I will also be taking some little notes if I have something to add or if I want to rewrite some character. And I know it's going to be a bit of a cliche, but I really like to, to listen to some Luffy Beats music while studying because it helps me focusing. And the things I do next is that I'm uh, writing and doing the exercises I have to do uh, for today's lessons. So now just to go through my notebook. So the very first thing I did when I started to learn Chinese was to write the 100 most common words. Was not that useful, but I think I know most of them now. Uh, and here are my lessons. So I was always writing pinyin in red and highlighting in pink to separate all chapters. So I was working with Lingo D and Hello Chinese, rewriting uh, the small text we have as exercises. And it was a bit confused, but I was following lessons on those app in order and I was writing everything. So here is vocabulary from Hello Chinese. So as I was talking about uh, different apps, here are the apps I'm using for Chinese and languages. Um, so the first one is Lingodier. In the, this first uh, app, I've done a few chapters before beginning a far quadrant method. Um, you have a lo also a lot of different languages, but I think the best one are Japanese and Korean because this app was first made for those languages and they teach you how to write uh, characters. The second one is Hello Chinese. It's a bit, um, it looks like Lingo Dear, but it's really only focused on Chinese. You have grammar points, so this one was really tiny, uh, but you have grammar points and you have a few exercises to do. So those apps are really good, but I will go back uh, about all these apps on a new video. 
So this book that I'm using is the vocabulary book from my coach, so Joey Krizokerakis. I will put the link in the description. And here I was doing a little reminder uh, paper to have everything on the same page uh, for the sentence formation. So I'm using different colors so it will be easier to understand at the end. And I will just show you uh, so what my little uh, paper looks like. So on my paper, I've written the two uh, formation I've learned. So title, decor, which is the context and the action. So it's the, the easiest one. And then we have the one with subject, time, place, the way and what you used to. And finally the verb. And for each sentence, I write an example sentence just behind um, following the colors I've used to write uh, what what are the subject? Uh, so just to have an example of what I did. So here it is my folders for Chinese. It's written economics uh, in French, uh, which is because I've used this folder for economics when I was in high school. And uh, as I've got this nice folder, I didn't want to pay one, but I've, write, I've written economics with um, a pen you cannot erase so for the moment i will leave it but if it begins to be too small i will buy it <laughs> one you want without written economics so of course all the name of those parts are false too here is uh, economics politic uh here is for financial and lease uh so <laughs> everything is wrong and i have nothing of these courses in my folders everything is in another folder but for this first part, I have all uh, the lessons here. So everything, all the courses. And here I have all the vocabulary list of each day so I can review them. Here it's uh, from the University of Geneva. I found that they put all the HSK vocabulary. So I've, print, I've printed them before beginning my formation with joy so i know i will use them and i don't know how many words now of those i know because when i've started they weren't done much uh and just by seeing i think i knew a few so it's really nice <laughs> so i've got all the hsk hsk one it's this part two three and four uh and at the end i think it's all so i've got other lists because i've printed uh, many different lists of hsk vocabulary and finally there are other courses those are the um, classificators that, that you're going to, to say uh and not trugen you have to put the classificator between uh the pronouns and the name I have one here for a courses, so all it's the material of courses, which is a bit different. So I'm comprehension, and here I think it's the radical, the list of all the radical. I think you can easily find it uh, on the internet too. So for the moment, this is uh, the state of my folders, and I'm going to show you how I will be learning vocabulary. So for vocabulary, the very first thing I do is just that I take the paper and I review the words uh, one first time. So maybe you can listen that I'm practicing the words and I realize that I'm moving my hand to try to follow correctly the dance. So it helps me to be more focused and making a dance correctly uh, while learning new words. And I will do this uh, several times when pronunciation and the words are coming a little in my head. And then when I've done this, I will just um, take my iPad and to open Quizlet and uh, the notes application for the moment directly on the iPad. And I will uh, review on Quizlet this vocabulary because all words are on it. And here I just write on the right side on notes in uh, white the uh, hands, uh, in yellow the pinyin, and finally the um, the meanings in French in green and in blue. It's uh, my reminder how to remember words. So if you're speaking French, don't judge me. So that's the end of this first uh, study Chinese with me video. If you would be interested uh, in um, study with me, but in real time. Um, don't hesitate to tell me in the comment section below. I would be very interested to do one uh, for you too. So hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video.